So here in my workshop, I've been running a long-term test with a box that's on the wall. And what it has is a, a filament LED light bulb. Uh, the box comes from an earlier experiment with some uh, grow lights. Uh, but you can see the bulb has been sitting there on one side, and it just uh, runs away for hours on end. And I have a light meter, which I use, of course, to uh, record the uh, light intensity, uh, trying to see how long these filaments last. There's some speculation on the internet. They're not so reliable. And I thought I'd put that question to the test. Okay, uh, this is the 600 hour mark I've been sort of faithfully measuring for about a month, uh, which is around 600 hours since the bulb's been on uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, now, of course, the numbers get plotted into a graph because you want to see if there's any sort of trend. Uh, got the number of lumens on the y-axis, the date on the x-axis, the blue dots are the actual measurement. A really lovely graph in some ways. It shows all the classic physical phenomena. There's always measurement uncertainty. Uh, and, of course, you want to tease out some sort of trend line. Uh, least square regression is the best uh, bet. And that's the uh, red line here. And it seems to be showing a trend going downwards, and that's kind of what you'd expect. You'd expect the bulb does get dimmer, even if it's an awesome bulb. Uh, they're going to get dimmer over time. The real question, of course, now is what's going to happen further in the future? I only have 600 hours of data, but um, the nice thing about statistics is you can always ask the tools to predict what's going to go on. So I just extend the least squares regression line until it hits the point where it has half the number of lumens initially, which I understand is the definition of a lifetime of a bulb. And this is out here, and uh, that uh, says June 14th, uh, 2017, which would be uh, 17,000, uh, about 500 hours from now, uh, which would be an indication, actually, this particular bulb, if it holds this trend line, uh, is actually quite decent, quite reliable. And at least this particular filament bulb uh, is uh, going to have a decent life. So uh, one data point on the question about whether or not filament LEDs uh, have a long life. So far, uh, my answer says yes. So for completeness, uh, this is the actual filament LED that I'm looking at. Uh, it's slightly different than the one I tore down on my channel uh, a little while ago. Uh, it has a full metal base, no plastic sleeve. More importantly, this particular bulb actually has a, a UL mark with both Canadian and U.S. certifications. Uh, so it's not just simply a, a bulb that has no, no regulatory marks. And uh, I'm not sure if that contributes to the service life or not, but uh, this is the particular one that I'm running on the so the uh, top of the bulb there has that UL certification number and you can actually go onto a database to figure out uh, who made it. And uh, it's pointing me to a company called the Zhejiang Z-Light Optoelectronics Company, uh, which sounds plausible. And when you open up their web page uh, here, you can see the um, main listing with their nice picture of their building and such. And the bulbs that they produce seems like a fairly wide range. So there we go.